but it's been a long six weeks, but it's been a bloody good six weeks. And we've had highs, we've had lows. Put it all out there on the pitch today. The final week of the TikTok Six Nations. The tournament has been a positive one, but this team isn't the finished article yet. And after two tough losses, it's time for them to face some home truths. So just some feedback. So structure was good. We were in position. Our shape was good. We could offset piece. Everyone knew their roles, but our skill set let us down and our mindset definitely let us down. I'll be honest, I thought some of us were hiding in the game on Friday. What do we put our principles of our game on? Work rate, TNT. That's where we beat Ireland, that's how we beat Scotland. Working our socks off, off the ball, stuff that doesn't require talent. To have success, it means hard work, it means you've got to go through pain. And we have to do it again this week, and we have to be honest with, with each other. And we're still not there as a group yet, accepting feedback. We're still not there. And it's going to take time. If someone tells you, you haven't folded hard enough, you haven't folded hard enough. You've got to take it on the chin. We've put the team up. So some girls have deserved an opportunity. We say we reward performance, but we can't reward some performances as well because we've got to be honest with ourselves. Okay? It's important that we're honest in our review. Um, key areas that we need to focus on and get right this week against Italy. Um, you know, we have to shore up our defence, get our set piece back operating to a level which we had at the start of the tournament. Right shoulder down, right shoulder down. Good, that's it, that's the one. Good adjustment. Right. Okay. Again, the critical work done in early and then building on that confidence to show that what the girls can produce in the second half against France, that we can start with that against Italy. It's been a long campaign, but as the final week draws to a close, there's still time to squeeze in some last minute work. Girls, here we go then. Last gym session of Six Nations. Let's finish with a bang. Everything we do today, though, is with intent. Bench press, moving the bar and cleans. All the jumps is maximal intent. It's not massive weight or resistance, but we're just moving those weights as fast as we can. All good? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Thanks, I think we've come a long way since last year's Six Nations and, and the last three to four months. We've developed quite a lot as a squad and I think, you know, even though two heavy defeats, um, there's some real good stuff in there and that last half and last 50 minutes against France, we can really take some positives from. Um, the first two games, obviously, we grinded out wins, so I think we've learned a lot about ourselves during this campaign and I think really we're looking to put all that together for the Italy fixture and really how we put in a full-rounded performance to finish off this campaign. They're not going to be an easy opposition. They'll also have a point to prove. They're the first win on Saturday against Scotland, so that was huge for them. They'll come with confidence now and probably express themselves a little bit more because they've got that uh, win under their belt and you know that, that dreaded waiting for that win to come. So they'll come with confidence and play with a, probably a little bit more freedom and they've got some great players. So you know we've got to be on the top of our game as well to put in a performance and, and get the result we want. Look, it's been a long six weeks, but it's been a bloody good six weeks. And we've had highs, we've had lows. Okay, but everyone in the squad, girls who aren't here, have all contributed towards this. Individually, a lot of sacrifice in this room. Girls coming back off long-term injuries, making massive decisions in their lives. Okay, put it all out there on the pitch today. Park bristling with expectation for this one. Wales looking for their best results since 2009. 
straight through the middle. Alicia Butchers is off and she stretching her legs, handing off, still going. Blockbuster beginning from Alicia Butchers. Time off. It's the tackle by 10 red on the scrum cap for Italy. Okay, thank you. Direct contact? Yes. We have direct contact to the head. We've got a low degree of danger, so it's going to be a yellow card. Okay. Thank you, Matt. Okay. All right. The mark's back up here, so we'll get the mark and come back for you. Back this way. So Sean Ed Harry's is just being looked at to see whether there was a high tackle here. Wales in for a test over the next 10 minutes. Number eight. Man, down man. to 13 yeah. for the next seven minutes or so. Sean and Harry's yellow carded, following on from Robin Wilkinson's yellow card. Wing is on, Paul. Stop. On now. Ball stay in. Can Italy launch an attack from deep? Forlan onto Muzzo. Again, and this is Veronese. The blindside flanker gets it onto Sara Baratin. Dots it down. Italy finally make the breakthrough. <laughs> but Tony finds Duca and Baratin and Furlan connect. <laughs> Wales steal it this time. <laughs> Wales leaving it as late as possible to get on the board, but Robin Wilkins does just that. Bevan has a scrum going forward to work from, and Wales go with Harry's, Bethan Lewis, Calendar picked up by Kira Bevan and she sets the Cardiff Arms Park alight. Wales leaving it late again. And Robin Wilkins can't quite add the extras. One point ball game. Tunesi, advantage from in front of the posts. And Wales were offside. And Michaela Sillery puts Italy on the right side of it again. 10 8, Italy lead Wales, and just seconds remaining. It's right on the money. Jazz Joyce reaches, but this will go out. And Italy, cautious eyes to the referee, but they have the victory at the death. Agony for Wales, as this time, the last minute comeback goes against them. It's the end of this tournament, but for these women, the journey is far from over. It hurts because we care. Sometimes things don't go our way, but I'm telling you, they'll turn, and we just got to keep fighting together. Think to where we were, okay? Last year, year before, and where we are today, we wouldn't have been in with a shout. We're in with a shout. It hurts, yes, but it's good it hurts. It's good to be disappointed, but we work on things and we go again. It's a huge year for us girls, yeah? Believe in yourselves and believe in everyone in the circle. Because I believe we win together, we lose together, and we hold each other up, yeah? We yeah. hold each other up, okay? Yeah, that would be proud, girls. In, die, three, come! Yeah.